This week the Nasdaq has found enough bullish strength to continue this bullish move. We can see it here. It started around 27th of October and the price has made a breakout above this one, 15835, and it has reached this supply zone around 1600. Let's see on the weekly time frame, we can see that the next week is also a bullish one where the price continues to move up, making a bullish breakout also. And also we can see it here, the bullish breakout has been validated with this bullish candle where the price is heading and going above or going after 16400 price level. If we go to the monthly time frame, we can, sell, we can also see that this month is also a bullish one and there is the probability that the price will continue to move up and close this month about 15800, which is a very important level for the monthly time frame. And as it looks right now, uh, the area around 1640 is very reachable on the monthly time frame and the next week which is the last one inside this month needs to close above in order to have this bullish month uh, continued and also validated. If the price goes below 15800 and below 1560 we will see that this bullish breakout will not happen this month probably next month but in order to have clear information about this price level and potential uh, bullish breakout on the monthly time frame we need to see on the weekly time frame how this looks so very important level for the price is 15800 and also 15600 and above that it is 16400 now if we go to the weekly time frame we can see very important levels here the first one is the last one on the weekly time frame is this one here it is 15600 we can see it here very important level for the bulls so the price needs to stay above this price level also on the weekly time frame to have a potential bullish also momentum uh, staying active on the following weeks but as we can see currently the price is also above 15763 which is around 1588 very important level for the price on the monthly time frame and we can see on the weekly time frame so this is the first step for the price in order to continue to move up if it goes below that the next one is 15600 on the above on the upper side, we can see that the very important levels for the price is this one, 1600. We can see it here in the past, a very important level between the support and resistance, a small one, confluence of support and resistance that needs to be broken to the upside and that will be much more visible on the daily time frame. Above that, the next one where the price is setting is this one here. It is 16200 and above that it is, just a minute, 16300. These are very important levels for the bulls for the next week where I'm expecting the price will go. So let's go to the daily time frame and see much more clearly. These are very important levels. And we can see that currently 1600, 1603.4 is very important level for the price on the uh, bullish side. And if it's bright in and if the price breaks above, which will mean that the bulls have uh, found enough strength to make a bullish breakout the price will probably go after 16300, which is the start of this supply zone around 1640 I have mentioned. On the lower side, we can see very important level is this one 1500 and also this one 15800, 838, very important levels for the bulls. If the price goes below this one, below this uh, 15800 price level, the next one where the price will stop is 1560, which is the start of this, uh, this demand zone. So we have a price going up and there is a potentially very high chance that the price will continue to move up because of this bullish trend. There is no, there is no uh, signs of uh, selling pressure around this supply zone where the current price is because we can see that the price has made a breakout to the uh, bulls uh, to the bullish side we can sit here with this bullish candle and then confirming with the second candle not going below that so this is a great signal for the bulls where i'm expecting that the price will continue to move up i'm also sharing the entry levels and also stop loss take profit inside trading community so if you would like to join you can also but before that you can also below in the description video you can also find a link to register for the free pdf i'm sharing with you about the strategy currently i am using i also explain what is very important what are very important steps inside inside the trading career and also what are the steps I'm using to make these analysis about the supply and demand zones. That is all from today's analysis. I hope you enjoyed. 
If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading.